I will call to order the regular meeting of the Board of Aldermen at 7.30 p.m. The prayer will be offered by Deputy City Clerk Judith Boilo and Alderman Jetty will lead us in the Pledge to the Flag. Almighty God, we have the high honor and the serious duty to manage the affairs of our beloved city. Fill us, O oh God, with a spirit of unity and understanding which enables us to face our multiple problems with serene mind, with justice and charity for all, so that any and all decisions made by us will always be for the betterment and greater happiness of our fellow citizens. So help us, God. Amen. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And before I uh, ask the clerk to call the roll, I will reiterate that if anyone wants to remove jackets in this rather muggy auditorium, uh, please feel free to do so. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Wilshire. Here. Alderman Gidge. Here. Alderman Harry Gathright. Present. Alderman Dow. Present. Alderman Clee. Here. Alderman Laws. Here. Alderman Lopez. Present. <laughs> Alderman <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Alderwoman Kelly. Here. <laughs> Alderman Jetty. Here. Alderwoman Melisi Gola. Alderman Tenza. Present. Alderman Smith. Here. Alderman O'Brien. Present. Alderman McCarthy. Present. 14 present. Alderwoman Melisi Golia contacted me this morning to say she would be unable to attend this evening's meeting. Also present, Mayor James W. Dodges and Corporation Counsel Stephen A. Bolton. Does the mayor wish to address the board? Uh, yes, Mr. President. Uh, first, I wanted to mention a few items that are on the agenda and a couple that aren't. Uh, on the first page is uh, the paving contract for uh, the, th the major streets in the city, uh, those being Amherst Street, Somerset Parkway, Broad Street, and Kinsley. Uh, this is repurposed money from the Broad Street Parkway uh, as a result of uh, some things that uh, occurred with respect to uh, f the federal highway. And uh, so we needed here to comply with a lot of different federal regulations. This is why this contract is coming forward only now as opposed to earlier in the spring when the uh, contracts or the contract regarding all of the city paving uh, was uh, brought to you and you approved it. Uh, once this is approved, we expect to be able to pave and crack seal, which is a small portion but of the total, but over 50 miles of streets. Uh, this is compared to about five or six miles that we were doing several years ago. And I think if you, especially if you're in the south end where most of the work has been done so far, you will see uh, some you know, major impact. and. They were, they're going to be moving north uh, through the remainder of the season. So uh, I think we will see some significant uh, improvements in the condition of the streets this year. And, of course, we've got a number of years of the paving plan of action to, to go. Um, secondly, Mr. President, I wanted to mention the escrows. I won't go through the details of that, uh, but this is the allocation of previously appropriated money. This is un unexpended money this year or this prior year, fiscal 18. Uh, we're proposing that uh, a number of uses, that this money unexpended be put to a number of uses. Uh, the main one being the SURF or the, the Capital Equipment Reserve Fund, which has to do with buying equipment. Uh, the budget which we, which we passed a month or two ago uh, didn't put a whole lot of money, I think it was $1 million to uh, SURF, and this would allocate uh, another $1.3 million three, uh, to <coughs> SURF and help us to maintain the quality of our fleet. But I assume this will get referred to the Budget Committee, and I will be glad to come and discuss the details of uh, all of this at that time. There are two items related to our major employer, BAE. Uh, one would uh, enable the reconfiguration of one of the downtown bus routes to better serve the public in general and to enable BAE employees to use the public bus to ride from the parking garages here uh, to their facility on Canal Street 
as well as the park and ride uh, over on Crown Street. So any BAE or anybody else parking in any of those locations could um, use this new service to uh, go to BAE or anywhere else in the downtown. Uh, I think it'll serve everyone well. BAE has agreed to contribute $260,000 a year to this reconfiguration. Uh, so they've been an important partner in this. Uh, and we're glad to be working with uh, them to uh, improve uh, service for everyone in the downtown. Also, there's another BAE contract where we would agree to lease spaces in the park and ride to BAE for the use of their employees, uh, people who then could use the system, the new reconfigured route to get from the Crown Street park and ride uh, to C Canal Street. Um, the EPA was in town uh, a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago, putting forth their proposals and ideas, taking testimony and, I, and thoughts regarding the Mohawk Tannery. Uh, they will be meeting with neighbors, people from the neighborhood, this coming Thursday. Uh, the not, not two days from now, but a week and two days, nine days from now, uh, in which they will discuss with the, the neighbors the different alternatives and uh, their, their thoughts regarding uh, the most cost-effective, uh, in, their, in their view, uh, approach towards a Mohawk tannery cleanup and, as, and will be presenting ideas as to how that could be paid for. Um, Finally, a couple items coming up uh, this week, uh, Mr. President. First, we have the back to school item, which is the back to school event over at the library. That's on the 23rd in the uh, late afternoon. It's too bad um, Alderwoman Malitzi Goli is not here because she has been a very important driving force behind that project for many years, as have George Cadis from National Wallpaper and a number of other people, the, the library, the school department. Uh, it's a great event for kids who need school supplies, and we'll, we'll see, uh, I'm sure, hundreds of kids and families there on that, on that evening. And finally, Mr. President, I wanted to mention the Designer Show House, which is taking place on Concord Street at 90 Concord Street. This is a benefit for home health and hospice, which is a worthy cause, of course. Uh, but the Show House is at the former home, uh, or the, the, the mansion, really, that's known as the Frank Anderson House, uh, built by a major industrialist, Frank Anderson, back in 1906. Uh, he owned many uh, shoe factories at the time, one of the biggest industrialists in the United States and the world in those days. Uh, and then uh, he lived there for a time. Later, it became the home of Mount St. Mary. Recently has been purchased by Thomas Moore College up in Merrimack. And now Home Health Hospice, under the auspices of Tina Andrade, has had the entire mansion restored uh, and decorated. It is an incredible bit of Nashua history. It is definitely worth visiting. It does cost $25 to make the visit, but that money goes to Home Health and Hospice. Uh, and. Uh, uh, so I, I recommend that everyone take a visit to, uh, to 90 Concord Street and uh, check out the Frank Anderson uh, Designer Show House. And uh, Mr. President, that is all I have for this evening. Are there any responses to the remarks of the mayor? Recognition period? There are none. Reading the minutes of the previous meeting and public hearings, if there are no objections, the minutes of the Board of Aldermen meetings of July 10th, 2018, and those of the public hearings conducted by the Con Committee on Infrastructure on July 25th, 2018, are accepted, placed on file, and the readings are suspended. Communications requiring only procedural actions and written reports. There are none. Pre period for public comment relative to items expected to be acted upon this evening. We have one speaker, Chief Lavoy. Thank you, Chief Lavoy, National Police Department. Um, due to the temperature in the room, I'll be extremely brief. 
And uh, I'm here in support of Resolution 055, the uh, contract between the National Patrolmen's Association and the National Police Commission. I certainly uh, believe that this is a, a tremendously uh, mutually beneficial contract. The uh, patrolmen and detectives of the National Police Department are the heart and soul of the National Police Department. And certainly, uh, you know, in my completely non-biased opinion, I think their performance is certainly second to none. And I um, wholeheartedly support, uh, hopefully, you'll uh, support the final passage as well. Thank you. Thank you. Communications requiring final approval. Communication from Mayor Jim Donches relative to contract for 2018 Federal Paving Program, Amherst Street, Route 101A, Somerset Parkway, Broad Street, Route 130, and Kinsley Street, Route 111. Alderman Jetty. I move to accept place on file and award the contract to Newport Construction Corporation in the amount of $3 million. Uh, $987,519. Motion is to accept the contract, to accept the communication, place it on file, and award the contract to Newport Construction Corporation in the amount of $3,987,519. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Communication from P Patricia D. Pietzu, City Clerk, relative to warrant to be committed to Chief of Police for unlicensed dogs. Alderwoman Karen. Yes, thank you. I'd like to make a motion to accept place on file in accordance with RSA 466-14, commit the warrant to the Chief of Police or his designee for the issuance of civil forfeitures to those dog owners who have not licensed their dogs. Motion is to accept the communication, to place it on file, and in accordance with RSA 46614, commit the warrant to the chief of police on his, or his designee for the issuance of civil forfeitures to those dog owners who have not licensed their dogs. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Communication from David G. Fredette, treasurer, tax collector, relative to purchase replacement for the community outreach Ford Monohome Home Capital Equipment Reserve Fund, CERF. Alderman Dowd. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to accept, place on file, and concur with the purchase of a 2018 Dodge Promoter Van for the Public Health Department. Motion is to accept, place on file, and concur with the purchase of the 2018 Dodge Promoter Van for the Public Health Department. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Petitions? Petition for street acceptance, Pine and Central Streets. Alderman O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to make a motion to grant the petition uh, for street acceptance. Motion uh, is... Uh, Pine and Central, yes. Motion is to grant the petition for street acceptance. Discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries and the petition is granted. Nominations, appointments, and elections. Appointments by the Mayor Hunt Memorial Building Board. Carolyn Mortadello, 80 Con Concord Street, Nashville, New Hampshire. Term to turn, oh. Sorry. <laughs> Term to expire December 31st, 2019. If there are no objections, the appointment by the mayor will be accepted as read and referred to the Personnel and Administrative Affairs Committee. Joint convention, convention with Woodlawn Pinewood Cemetery Board of Trustees. If there are no objections, the Board of Aldermen will now meet in joint convention with the Woodlawn Pinewood Cemetery's Board of Trustees for the purpose of electing three trustees and I will ask for nominations. Mr. Jensen. Good evening. Uh, I'm Niles Jensen. I'm chairman of the Board of Trustees of Woodlawn and Pinewood Cemeteries. And our Board of Trustees nominate Todd Whitney for a term to expire in 2020, Mark Colomb for a term to expire in 2020, and Patricia Bettinger for a term to expire in 2021. Are there any other nominations? If there are no objections, nominations will now be closed. 
the names of Todd Whitney, Mark Coulomb, and Patricia Benninger have been placed in nomination. Uh, would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Wilshire. Todd Whitney, Mark Coulomb, and Patricia Bettinger. Alderman Gidge. Yes. <laughs> Alderman Gath Harriet Gathright. Todd Whitney, Mark Coulomb, Patricia Bettinger. Alderman Dowd. Yes, Todd Whitney, Mark Coulomb, Patricia Bettinger. Alderman Clee. Yes, Todd Whitney, Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. Alderman Lopez. Yes, Todd Whitney, Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. And Alderman Laws is to my left. <laughs> Alderman Laws. Yes. Should have taken your jacket off. <laughs> Todd Whitney, Mark Maloney, and Patricia Bettinger. Oops. Alderman Karen. Yes, Todd Whitney, Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. Alderwoman Kelly. Yes, Todd Whitney, Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. Alderman Jetty. Todd Whitney, Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. Alderman Tenza. Todd Whitney, Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. Alderman Schmidt. Todd Whitney, <clears throat> Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. Yes. Alderman O'Brien. Todd Whitney, Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. Alderman McCarthy. Todd Whitney, Mark Cologne, and Patricia Bettinger. Trustee Aponovich. Trustee Buslovich. Uh, Trustee Dana Farwell. Trustee Charles Farwell Jr. Trustee Frizzall. Trustee Jensen. Trustee McLaughlin. Trustee Whitmore. Mia Donches. Uh, Todd, Whit Todd Whitney, Mark Colomb, and Patricia Bedinger. We have 18 votes for Todd Whitney, 18 votes for Mark Columbine, and 18 votes for Patricia Benninger. Todd Whitney, Mark Coulomb, and Patricia Bedinger are duly appointed to the Woodlawn Pinewood Cemetery's Board of Trustees for the aforementioned terms. Are any or all of those persons present? Please come forward for the oath of office. If there are now no objections, the joint convention will now arise. Reports of committees, if there are no objections, the report of the Budget Review Committee of July 23rd, 2018 is accepted and placed on file. If there are no objections, the report of the Finance Committee of August 1st, 2018 is accepted and placed on file. If there are no objections, the report of the Human Affairs Committee of July 30th, 2018 is accepted and placed on file. If there are no objections, the report of the Committee on Infrastructure of July 25th, 2018 is accepted and placed on file. If there are no objections, the report of the Penichuk Water Special Committee of July 24th, 2018 is accepted and placed on file. And if there are no objections, the report of the Personnel and Administrative Affairs Committee of August 6th, 2018 is accepted and placed on file. Lastly, if there are no objections, the report of the Substandard Living Conditions Special Committee of July 12th, 2018 is accepted and placed on file. Confirmation of the Mayor's appointments? There are none. Unfinished business resolutions? Second reading of resolution 
18-052 relative to amending the fiscal year 2018 Housing and Urban Development Annual Action Plan by amending Nashua Soup Kitchen and Shelter's use of funds. Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. I move for final passage of Resolution 1852. Motion is for final passage of Resolution 1852. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and R1852 is adopted. Second reading of Resolution 18-053. Establishing an expendable trust fund to accept, accept donations for city events. Alderman Gidge. Uh, final passage uh, for R18053. Motion is for final passage of R1853. Is there any discussion? Alderman Jetty. I just, uh, just for clarification, I, I looked at the minutes of the uh, Budget Review Committee and I didn't see any explanation could could the mayor provide uh, could tell us what what this is about and what this is for and mayor Donches? uh yes mr president um the idea i think arose out of the pride parade particularly because in that event which went very well the uh, uh money coming in actually exceeded the cost of the event so the money coming in the sponsorship and other other uh, income that was derived from it uh, was used to pay the expenses, and then there's money left over. So the thought was, in that instance and possibly in others, uh, it would be worthwhile to preserve that money, use it for future city events, uh, as opposed to just you know putting a couple thousand dollars into the general fund. And this way, we can help keep events going without having to put forward you know any any funds. Okay. Follow. Alderman Judy. Uh, so uh, this has nothing to do with the Performing Arts Center yet. We haven't started that yet. No, this is not uh, Performing Arts Center related. Thank you. Further discussion? Not. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries and R1853 is adopted. Second reading of Resolution 18-054. Approving the cost items of a collective bargaining agreement between the Nashua Board of Education and the Nashua Association of School Principals from July 1st, 2018 through July 30th, 2022 in authorizing relative transfers. Alderman Dowd. I'd like to make a motion for final passage of R18054. Motion is for final passage of R18054. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries and R1854 is adopted. Second reading of resolution 18-055, approving the cost items of a collective bargaining agreement between the Nashua Board of Com Police Commissioners and the La Nashua Police Patrolmen's Association from July 1st, 2018 through June 30th, 2022, and authorizing relative transfers. Alderwoman Wilshire. Thank you. I move for final passage of Resolution 1855 and would like to speak to it. Motion is for final passage of R1855. Is there any discussion? Alderwoman Wilshire. Thank you. Um, I just want to uh, agree with what the Chief said. This is a fair contract. I think it's a win-win, and I hope that you all support it this evening. Further discussion? Alderman Tenza. You know, also just to follow up what the Chief said, I mean, I think um, I probably have, uh, I've dealt with the police department here in Nashville as well as uh, across the state, different police departments. To follow up what the Chief said, our, our police department here in Nashville is, is um, one of the best in the state, if, if not the nation, well-trained, um, you know, just a, a great department. Um, and so this contract is fair. Um, all the provisions of it are fair. Um, and uh, I assume that everyone here will, will support that as well. Further discussion? Alderman Dowd. Yes, uh, and I'd just like to reiterate that as well. Um, uh, our police officers here every day are encountering uh, people as we see and you know, we get the information from the police department on who's been arrested. That They put their lives on the line every day and uh, I think they do an admirable job and, and deserve 
to be rewarded for it. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and R1855 is adopted. Second reading of resolution 18-056 relative to the acceptance and appropriation of $32,000 from the New Hampshire Charitable Foundation into Public Health and Community Services Grant Activity FY19 Substance Misuse Prevention. Alderwoman Harriet Cathright. I move for final passage of R18-056. Motion is for final passage of R1856. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and R1856 is adopted. <coughs> Second reading of resolution 18-057, changing the per changing the purpose of up to $250,000 of unexpended bond proceeds from three projects. Broad Street Elementary School, Sunset Heights Elementary School, and Lead Street Lighting to the district-wide middle schools renovation and construction project for funding, engineering, and architectural services. Alderman Dowd. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion for final passage of R18057 by roll call and like to speak to it. The motion is for final passage of R1857 by roll call. Alderman Dowd. Yes, um, and as you may well know, we were given the middle school project from the uh, Board of Education of the Joint Special School Building Committee, and we need to hire an architect and a building construction manager to uh, get the pricing for the various alternatives that will be involved so that a sound decision can be made before we move forward. So these are, at least on two of these other than the LED light, uh, were Money's left over because the for former projects were well managed and uh, we had money left over. So we want to repurpose this money to allow us to move forward. Further discussion? If not, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Wilshire. Yes. Alderman Gidge. Yes. Alderman Harriet Gathright. Yes. Alderman Dow. Yes. Alderman Clee. Yes. Alderman Laws. Yes. Alderman Lopez. Yes. Alderman Karen. Yes. Alderwoman Kelly. Yes. Alderman Jetty. Yes. Alderman Tenza. Yes. Alderman Schmidt. Yes. Alderman O'Brien. Yes. Alderman McCarthy. Yes. We have 14 yeses. Motion carries and R1857 is adopted. Second reading of resolution 18-057. Oh, sorry. Got to turn the page. Second reading of resolution 18-058, authoring Penichuk Corporation, Penichuk Waterworks Incorporated, and Penichuk East Utility Incorporated to borrow funds from the State of New Hampshire Drinking Water Revolving Loan Fund and the State of New Hampshire Drinking Water and Groundwater Trust Fund. Alderwoman Wilshire. Thank you. I move for final passage of Resolution 1858. Motion is for final passage of R1858. <clears throat> is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and R1858 is adopted. Second reading of Resolution 18-062 relative to the acceptance and appropriation of up to $650,000 from the Department of Homeland Security into FIA grant activity, FY 2017, assistance to firefighters grants and authorizing the transfer of up to $65,000 of matching funds from the, the fiscal year 2018 budget. Alderman Laws. I move for final passage of R18-62. Motion is for final passage of R1862. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries and R1862 is adopted. Second reading of resolution 18-063 relative to the acceptance and appropriation of $50,000 from the New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services 
into public health and community services grant activity, healthy homes, and lead poisoning case management. Alderman Clee. I move for final passage of R18-063. Motion is for final passage of R1863. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries and R1863 is adopted. Second reading of resolution 18-064 relative to the acceptance and appropriations of $261,767 from the State of New Hampshire Department of Safety and Police Grant Activities, FY 2019 Opio Opioid Abuse Reduction Initiative, OARI Grant. Alderman Tenza. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion for final passage of R18064. Motion is for final passage of R18064. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries and R1864 is adopted. Unfinished business ordinances. Third reading of ordinance 18-007, prohibiting placing or blowing yard debris in the street. Alderman O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion to re-refer a 018-007 to the Committee of Infrastructure, and may I speak to my motion? Motion is to re-refer 0187 to the Committee on Infrastructure. Alderman O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, those that are uh, familiar, this uh, matter was discussed and vetted, but however, additional information has come up in opinions, particularly from the legal department, and uh, I would like to support me and get it re-referred to our committee so that we can fix it. That would be uh, worthy of uh, our prudence. Thank you. And for the discussion, if not, the motion is to re-refer. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, and R-18-7 is re-referred to the Infrastructure Committee. Second reading of Ordinance 18-016, establishing a no-parking zone on the west side of Pine Street. Alderman Lopez with a jacket. <laughs> I would like to make a motion for final passage uh, of r 18 O sixteen with my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Motion is for final passage of O eighteen sixteen. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and O eighteen sixteen is adopted. New business resolutions. First reading resolution eighteen zero six five relative to the acceptance and appropriation of forty three thousand four hundred and fifty six dollars from the United States Department of Justice into Police Grant Activity, 2017 Justice Assistant Grant, multi-jurisdictional. Additional sponsors, Alderman, Alderwoman Harriet Gathright, Alderman Gidge, Alderman Dowd, Alderwoman Clee, Alderman Laws, Alderman Lopez, Alderwoman Karen, Alderwoman Kelly, Alderman Tenza, Alderwoman Schmidt, and Alderman O'Brien. And R1865 will be assigned to the Human Affairs Committee. First reading of Resolution 18-066 relative to addressing possible inequities in sick leave policy for certain unaffiliated employees. Any additional sponsors? Alderwoman Clee, Alderwoman Harriet Gethright, Alderman Laws, Alderman Lopez, Alderwoman Kelly. And R1866 will be assigned to the Personnel and Administrative Affairs Committee. First reading of Resolution 18-067, designating Rail Trail as Class B Trail under New Hampshire RSA 231-A. Additional sponsors, Alderman Gidge, Alderman Dowd, Alderman Clee, Alderman O'Brien. And... R1867 will be assigned to the Committee on Infrastructure. First reading of Resolution 18-068 relative to the reappropriation of fiscal year FY 2019 escrows. Any additional sponsors? Alderman Dowd, Alderwoman Clee, Alderwoman Harriet Gathright, Alderman Gidge, and Alderman O'Brien. 
and R1868 will be assigned to the Budget Review Committee. First reading of Resolution 18-069, authorizing the City of Nashua to enter into a contract with BAE for transit services. Additional sponsors, Alderwoman Wilshire, Alderman Gidge, Alderwoman Harriet Gathright, Alderman Dowd, Alderwoman Clee, Alderman Laws, Alderman Lopez, Alderwoman Karen, Alderman Tenza, Alderwoman Schmidt, Alderman O'Brien, and R1869 will be assigned to the Finance Committee. First reading of Resolution 18-070, authorizing the acceptance of a license from BAE over land located on the corner of Canal Street and Nashua Drive for a bus shelter. Additional sponsors, Alderwoman Wilshire, Alderman Gidge, Alderwoman Harriet Gathright, Alderman Dowd, Alderwoman Clee, Alderman Laws, Alderman Lopez, Alderman Tenza, Alderwoman Schmidt, Alderman O'Brien, and myself. And R1870 will be assigned to the Committee on Infrastructure. First reading of Resolution 18-071 relative to the appropriation of U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development Home Investment Partnership Program funds to Neighbor Works of Southern New Hampshire. Additional sponsors, Alderwoman Harriet Gathright, Alderman Gidge, Alderman Dowd, Alderwoman Clee, Alderman Laws, Alderman Lopez, Alderwoman Karen, Alderwoman Kelly, Alderman Tenza, Alderwoman Schmidt, Alderman O'Brien, and myself. And R1871 will be assigned to the Human Affairs Committee. First reading of Resolution 18 0. Wait. All right. Ordinances? Yeah. New business ordinances. First reading of Ordinance 18-019, amending the land use code by adding provisions regarding urban chickens. Additional sponsors, Alderman Lopez, Alderman Laws, Alderwoman Wilshire, and Alderwoman Schmidt, and Alderwoman Harriet Gathright. Uh, Alderman Kelly, Alderwoman Kelly, do you have a motion? I move to accept the first reading of 018 19 and assign it to the Planning and Economic Development Committee and the Nashua City Planning Board and that a public hearing be scheduled for Tuesday, September 18th, 2018 at 7 p.m. in the Aldermanic Chamber. Motion is to accept the first reading of 01819, assign it to the Planning and Economic Development Committee and the Nashua City Planning Board and to schedule a public hearing for Tuesday, September 18th, 2018 at 7 p.m. in the Aldermanic Chamber. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that motion carries. First reading of Ordinance 18-020, prohibiting parking on a portion of the south side of East Pearl Street. Additional sponsors? Alderman Gidge. And 01820 will be assigned to the Committee on Infrastructure. First reading of Ordinance 18-021, authorizing the city to lease parking spaces located at the Crown Street Park and Ride. Additional sponsors, Alderman Gidge, Alderman Dowd, Alderwoman Clee, Alderman Laws, Alderman Harriet Gathright, and myself. And 01821 will be assigned to the Committee on Infrastructure. Period for general public comment. No one has signed up. Remarks by members of the Board of Aldermen. I'll start over here tonight. Anybody? Any remarks? Alderman Dowd? I just wanted to say that uh, I attended the National Night Out at the uh, Boys and Girls Clubs, as did Alderman Tenza. And um, it was uh, a very nice event. Of course, the mayor was there. Uh, I think that uh, it, it did a lot. Uh, Chief Lavoie and I were part of a group that, that watched a presentation from DEA uh, to the young kids from that were there and their families, and it was very, very entertaining and, and informative. Um, I think more people should have a chance to take in that, that type of uh, presentation. But uh, it, there were a lot of people there. It was well-received, and 
Uh, I just want to congratulate the police and fire department and the, and everyone else that was involved, uh, certainly Boys and Girls Club, for that evening. Additional remarks, Alderman Lopez. Um, I just wanted to comment. We had two pieces of legislation um, relative to how our city handles substance misuse. And I just want to remind members of the Board of Aldermen we're far from out of the woods with that. Um, there are still people struggling every day. There are still fire stations still open, receiving people looking for a better life. Um, and our police are dealing, you know, I can say from firsthand observation, very compassionately with people who are under the influence, making decisions that, are, that affect public welfare. Um, it's something we still have a lot of work to do, so I encourage everybody to be familiar with the resources and services available in our um, city, and I wanted to extend my condolences to the O'Mara family for their recent loss. Um, there is the Downtown Arts Festival on August 25th, uh, Saturday, on Main Street, so I wanted to invite all of the members of the Board of Aldermen um, to attend, and I wanted to wish our Aldermanic Assistant, Patricia, happy birthday. Or sorry, Sue, happy birthday. I was looking at the, <laughs> I was looking at the city clerk. <laughs> um, so happy birthday, Sue. Get a new name. Old, older woman, Karen. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you, Mia, for talking about uh, NASA goes back to school. We've been dealing with that before since 4th of July. So I speak on behalf of uh, Alderman Melissa Gola, who has been working hard on this. It is a week from Thursday from 5 to 6.30. Uh, we are looking forward to having a bus there that is going to talk about safety on school buses, and you're going to be able to have your picture taken. We're really excited about that. The Telegraph is putting together uh, several articles concerning Nasha Goes Back to School. One is to celebrate all the sponsors over the past 13 years who have participated. Uh, they're also doing something with all the schools, all the principals that have been part of that, and also all the volunteers who have helped out. And if you want to see some exciting, hardworking people, is to come on Wednesday when RSVP is there and they bag almost 1,700 bags with supplies in less than three hours. We have students from Penichuk Junior High School who will be there. We also have the Pokemon group that is sending uh, three or four people. And we also have members of the Lions Club who will also be helping out that day. And uh, we're looking forward to it being a nice day on Thursday so that everyone can come down and have a good time. Thank you. And oh, remarks. happy birthday, Susan. <laughs> Additional remarks? Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to uh, let the citizens know that the National Police Department <laughs> is starting their 30th Citizens Academy. You can register by calling Ed Leishis at 594-3544. The deadline to register for that is August 30th. Any additional remarks? Alderman Gidge. Yes, uh, my wife uh, broke her hip, and then she ended up in the hospital with nine stitches in her finger, but she also did something else. Front page uh, union leader, and I mean really the top, Nashua artist's wife foils international scam. So uh, she's pretty protective of myself and the artist, but uh, I thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> I, I think Sue may have thought she was going to escape notice <laughs> when I didn't post anything on her Facebook page, but that was deliberate to give me the element of surprise, which Alderman Lopez with the jacket has. <laughs> so, happy birthday, Sue. Thank you very much. Committee announcements? Alderman Jetty? Yes, uh, although I'm very anxious to find out what an urban chicken is. <laughs> Of a country city slicker, uh, fast talking chicken, as opposed to the rural farm uh, yeah. slow talking chicken. I'm, I'm sure over in the children's section of the library they can help you out. With this. <laughs> I can get you a book. But the uh, um, Alderman uh, Malitzi uh, Golia has uh, asked me to announce that the Planning and Economic Development Committee meeting of uh, August 21st has been canceled and rescheduled to September 4th at 7 p.m. here in the Aldermanic Chambers. Other announcements? Alderman O'Brien. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, infrastructure, Wednesday, August 22nd, 7 p.m. See you there. Any other business? Is there a motion? Alderwoman Wilshire. Motion to adjourn. Motion is to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, and we are adjourned at 8.15.